오늘 함께 감상하실 영상에 나오는 단어들 중에서 세 개만 예습해 보겠습니다. 첫 번째로 나올 단어는요. 특정한 또는 까다로운 이란 뜻까지 가지고 있는 particular라는 말이 되겠고요. 그리고 두 번째, 가운데쯤이라는 뜻을 가진 halfway 들릴 겁니다. 그리고 마지막으로 다과 또는 가벼운 식사나 간식을 가리키는 refreshment 이것을 들을 수 있는데요. 이세 단어 발음 연습해 보시죠. Okay, so let's practice our pronunciation. Repeat after me. So the first one is particular. 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 Okay? And the next one is halfway. 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 Okay? And the final one is refreshment. 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 Okay, so this time we have a brand new person for you guys. His name is Henry. He's from the USA, so hopefully you guys will be seeing him a lot. And he's going to talk to us about how when he was young, one of his friend's parents used to always bring them refreshments. So without further ado, let's watch. So when I was a young boy, um, during the summertime, I would often play home run derby with my friends around the neighborhood. And one friend of mine in particular had a very kind mother. And she would always, about halfway through the game, come out, uh, give us some lemonade, give us some sandwiches. It was just like clockwork. We could always guarantee, rely on her, that uh, she'd come and give us a refreshment. Yeah, when I was little, I remember we always went outside and my parents would be gone, but they just trusted the neighbors. So all the kids in the neighborhood, we would go outside. And one of our friends, her name is Mariah, her mom always had refreshments and snacks for us. So we would be playing outside, it would be hot and sweating, and we would always go to Mariah's house. Her mom would feed us, and it was actually great. But now that's gone. So some of my, like my little sister, she doesn't like have that now. She can't like go outside and do that. So sometimes I feel bad. 사실 저도 마찬가지 경험을 갖고 있는데 동네 그냥 친구들하고 어울려 놀다가 같은 학교를 다닌 것도 아니고 같은 유치원 다닌 것도 아닌데 그냥 동네 친구니까 어울려 놀다가 누구 집 가서 뭐 간식도 얻어 먹고 하는. 경험 누구나 있으시잖아요. 그것을 지금 딱 헨리가 이야기를 했습니다. 어렸을 mm-hmm. 때 이런 경험했다고요. 자, 헨리가 했던 말들 중에서 주요 문장들을 세개 골라봤는데요. 그 중에서 첫 번째 문장으로 공부를 시작해 보겠습니다. All right. So the first one is, and one friend of mine in particular had a very kind mother. Mm-hmm. And one friend of mine in particular had a very kind mother. 네, 그러니까 친구들하고 이제 홈런 더비라고 하는. Mm-hmm. 공놀이죠. 공놀이를 mm-hmm. 하곤 했는데 그 중에서 one friend of mine 어, 제 친구들 중한 명이 in particular라고 하면서 특정 어떤 특히 한 친구가 mm-hmm. had a very kind mother라고 했습니다. 이 문장의 뜻은 이제 특히 한 친구의 어머니가 정말 친절하셨어요라는 말인데 여기서 공부해 봐야 될 표현이 바로 중간에 나와 있죠. in particular Particular는 잠시 전에 이제 설명을 드렸을 때 이제 까다로운 또는 특정의라고 했는데요. 이것을 재미있게도 그냥 in particular라고 그냥 관용구처럼 씁니다. in particular라고 하면은 보통은 명사 뒤에 in particular. 여기서는 a friend in particular, a person in particular라고 하는데요. 그래서 이것은 특히 누가 또는 특별히 누가라는 뜻이 됩니다. 예문으로 만나보시죠. Okay, so for example, you can say I don't have anything in mind in particular. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything in mind in particular. 이 예문도 재미있는 것이 in mind in particular 연결이 되어 있어요. Right, or 네. you can actually switch them too, which is also interesting. Which is have, have huh? You can, for example, you can say switch the order. All right, yeah. So you can switch the order and you can say I don't have anything in particular in mind. 맞아요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 in mind, have in mind가 염두에 두고 있다 또는 생각하고 있는 거고. Mm-hmm. Have 뭐뭐뭐 in particular 하면은 특히 뭐가 있다라는 말인데 mm-hmm. 이 순서는 바꿀 수 있습니다. 그래서 mm-hmm. 저는 지금 특히 딱히 생각나는 건 없어요. 또는 생각하고 있는 건 없어요. Mm-hmm. For example, you want for example a uh, uh, friend's birthday is mm-hmm. coming up, mm-hmm. and what do you want to buy him as a birthday present? You can uh, say I don't have anything in particular in mind. 네, 특히 특별히 구체적으로 생각하고 있는 것은 없습니다. Mm-hmm. 하는 말이죠. In particular 이렇게 써보시고요. 다음 문장 볼까요? Okay, so The next one is, and she would always, about halfway through the game, 
come out. Mm-hmm. And she would always, about halfway through the game, come out. 네, 그분은 그 kind mother가 있었잖아요. Mm-hmm. 그분이 계셨은, 계셨는데 이제 그분이 저희가 경기를 하고 있으면이라고 했어요. 일단 halfway through the game, 문장을 쭉 번역을 하자면 저희가 경기를 하고 있으면 항상 중간 지점에 또는 중간 시점쯤에 열심히 놀고 있을 때딱 절반 정도 시점에 나오셔서는 뭐뭐뭐 하셨다라는 말인데 여기서 재밌는 것은 게임이라고 했어요. 게임. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about video games, right? Right, we're not talking about video games mm-hmm. here. You know, they're talking about sports game. 네, 그래서 그냥 놀이, mm. 스포츠 놀이도 mm-hmm. 게임이라고 하는구나. Yeah, we call them all games. So yeah, anything that you do other than work or just to have fun is a game. Can yeah. be a game. Even the games that children make up. So like when I was little, we would pretend we had a game in my neighborhood uh, at Mariah's house, uh-huh. and we would get all the berries from the trees. Mm-hmm. And you know, they're berries you can't eat, but we would smash them, and you know, we would pretend like we were you know feeding each other, mm-hmm. and that's still a game. You <laughs> 그렇죠. know. Anything that children do basically is a game. 네, 소꿉놀이하고 뭐 장난치고 또 부모님 따라하고 이런 것들이 다 yeah. 게임인데 Now that you mentioned Mariah for the second time, I feel like I know Mariah in person. Really? Hi, Mariah. <웃음> <웃음> 그래서 이제 아이들과 노는 걸다 게임이라고 할수 있습니다. 그래서 이건 뭐 어, 비디오 게임을 했나? 아니면 뭔가 경기를 했나? 이것도 아니고 지금 여기서는 실제로 공놀이기 때문에 경기라고 부를 수 있겠지만요. Mm-hmm. 여기서 공부하고 넘어가야 될 것이 이제 중간에 나오는 halfway, halfway가 들어가 있는 halfway through입니다. Way는 길이죠. 그런데 halfway는 길의 중간입니다. 그런데 길의 중간, through, halfway through라는 것은 여러분이 어떠한 과정이 있는데 그걸 통과해서 가는 것이 바로 영어로 through죠. 그런데 끝까지 가지 못하고 halfway through, 그러니까 중간쯤. 어떤 책을 읽거나 영화를 보거나 음악을 듣거나 할때 중간쯤까지 읽거나 봤거나 들었을 때 halfway through라고 합니다. 지금 이 방송도 halfway through 정도 가고 있는데요. 좀 지났죠. Halfway through. 절반 넘어갔으니까 이것도 예문으로 만나보겠습니다. Alright. So for example, you can say I'm about halfway through the book. Mm-hmm. I'm about halfway through the book. 이렇게 쓸 수가 있네요. I'm about halfway through the book. Yeah. 그러니까 책을 쭉 지나가고 있어요. 읽으면서. 근데 <웃음> yeah. 절반쯤 읽었어. I'm about halfway through the book. How can you say the same thing, the same sentence mm-hmm. without using halfway through? Without saying halfway through? Yeah. I finished about half of the book 그렇죠. so far. 네. I've read about half of the book so far. 네, 두 가지로 말씀해 주세요. I'm in the middle of the book. <웃음> 어허, 세 가지입니다. 그래서 <웃음> 책의 절반 정도 끝냈습니다. 지금까지. 그 다음에 책의 절반 정도 읽었습니다. 그 다음에 you're in the middle of the book. I'm in the exact middle of the pages 네. of the book. 네, 책의... That last one is a stretch though. <웃음> yeah. 그렇게까지 말하지는 않지만 <웃음> 이제 I am halfway through the book. 여러분이 중간쯤 본 거는 다 그렇게 말씀하실 수 있어요. Mm-hmm. All right, we have just one more sentence. All right, so the final sentence for today is we could always guarantee, rely on her that she'd come and give us refreshments. Mm-hmm. We could always guarantee, rely on her that she'd come and give us refreshments. 이 문장을 뜻을 먼저 드리자면 항상 장담을 할수 있었습니다. 아, 오늘도 주시겠지. Mm-hmm. <웃음> 라고 그 어머님이 오셔서 어, 저희에게 간식거리를 항상 주실 거라는 것을 늘 기대할 수 있었습니다. Mm-hmm. 오늘은 간식거리 주실까 안 주실까 고민할 필요가 없는 거죠. Right, because you are sure you can rely on her. You know 100% 그렇죠. that she is going to be there to give you the refreshment. <웃음> 그런데 문장 구조를 보면 좀 중간에 말하다가 바꿨어요. Uh-huh. We could always, 우리는 항상 할수 있었어요. Guarantee, 그런 다음에 Guarantee that, 뭐뭐뭐 하지 yeah. 않고 그냥 Guarantee that she will give us refle- 네. refreshments. 아예 그냥 다시 문장을 새로 시작하는 거죠. Mm-hmm. Rely on her. 그러니까 Guarantee를 빼고 생각하셔도 괜찮아요. Mm-hmm. We could always rely on her. 항상 그분에게, 그러니까 그 친구의 어머니에게 의지할 수 있었어요. That she'd come and give us refreshments. Mm-hmm. 근데요. 어, 뭐 간식이나 뭐 다과라고 소개는 했지만 What are some examples of refreshments? Refreshments could be things like you know some type of sports drinks, water. Mm-hmm. Usually, refreshments will usually always involve some type of drink as mm-hmm. well. So it has to be some type of drink, something that after you've worked, it will help refresh you. Mm-hmm. So something that's drink, it could be cold, things like ice cream, um, little sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Basically, probably water sandwiches or some 아하. type of cookies, 그렇군요. snacks. Basically, like 간식. 네. But with some kind of liquid too. 간식인데 
뭔가 마실 것이 있어야 right. refreshments라는 느낌이 드는 거죠. 사실 refreshment 말 자체가 refresh 해주는 거잖아요. Yeah. Gives you more energy, right. makes you less thirsty. Yeah. 네. It's so it could vary depending on what you're doing. So if you're in the sun playing a very heavy sport, mm-hmm. then a refreshment would probably be some type of sports drinks, mm-hmm. you know, with the electrolytes in it, mm-hmm. you know, and then maybe something that has carbohydrates to 네, fuel 네, 네, you 네. up. Yeah. 그래서 약간 이온 음료 같은 것들이 전해질이 들어있는 이온 음료가 또 refreshment가 될 수도 있겠고 mm-hmm. 또는 뭐 샌드위치와 물이 될 수도 있겠습니다. Mm-hmm. 여기서 공부해볼 표현은요. 바로 중간에 나오는 rely가 들어간 표현인데요. Rely on A to B. Rely on A to B. 여기서는 that을 썼어요. 그렇지만 일반적으로 더 많이 쓰는 것은 to를 씁니다. 그래서 A가 B를 할 것이라고 믿다 또는 약간 어, 든든하게 생각을 하는 거죠. 이것도 예문으로 보겠습니다. Okay, so for example, you can say Can we rely on him to keep a secret? Mm-hmm. Can we rely on him to keep a secret? 그가 비밀을 지킬 것이라고 믿을 수 있을까? Mm-hmm. Can we rely on him to mm-hmm. keep a secret? 이런 말쓸수 있어요. Mm-hmm. All right, so I think I can rely on you to tell us what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> And you're very right. You can rely on me. I am here for you. You can guarantee that I will introduce what we're going to do next. Okay, Which is? so next we're going to just practice the three sentences we learned. We're going to listen to them two times each. Let's watch. And one friend of mine in particular had a very kind mother. And one friend of mine in particular had a very kind mother. And she would always, about halfway through the game, come out. And she would always, about halfway through the game, come out. We could always... Guarantee, rely on her that uh, she'd come and give us a refreshment. We could always guarantee, rely on her that uh, she'd come and give us a refreshment. All right, so since we practiced the three sentences, this time we're going to watch the whole clip in its entirety from start to finish. finish. There will be English subtitles so you can read and follow along. Let's Let's watch. watch. So when I was a young boy, um, during the summertime, I would often play home run derby with my friends around the neighborhood. And one friend of mine in particular had a very kind mother. And she would always, about halfway through the game, come out, uh, give us some lemonade, give us some sandwiches. It was just like clockwork. We could always guarantee, rely on her that uh, she'd come and give us a refreshment. Yeah, today we have many different words to share with you, but I want to remember one thing that I want to remember. All right, today's takeaway is it went like clockwork. Mm-hmm. It went like clockwork. It went, 어떠한 일이 진행된 거죠? Uh-huh. Like clockwork. Right. 시계처럼, 시계가 작동하는 것처럼 아주 원활하게 mm-hmm. 작동을 했습니다. 즉, That's right. 네, 정확하게 계획대로 되었습니다. That's right. Yeah, a surprise birthday party or any kind of Gathering yeah, event. Anything, or even the show, I think, mm-hmm. went like clockwork today. I think this show right? went like clockwork today. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> I hope your day goes like clockwork. As do I. Uh huh. 그리고 저희는 다음 시간에 더 유익하고 또 재미있는 내용으로 찾아뵙도록 하겠습니다. Yes, we will. Make sure you visit us online to download the scripts and dialogue so you can study better with us here today. <laughs> <laughs> 저희는 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 여러분, 안녕히 계세요. Bye. Bye-bye. See you next time.